Okay, hello the viewers. Some some Omaha cast. This time so we have two PLO twenty five and two PLO ten tables. Well top pair, no help otherwise. I'm just trying to check to show down if possible. Kind of a nasty port front that straight game. Quite possible as well. Oh, he has to sit. Last eight of the deck. He's clean for four, quite a crappy hand. Twelve bottom right. I'm definitely raising the limpers. And get really against two people. I suppose we are just sick folding, having nothing. Not even backdoor flush draw. Not that they would, would really help anyway. Hold that bit can maybe. Somewhere like that, so it's probably not. I mean, it's plugging this, this guy a little bit on the bottom right table, but. Bruh. Well, double pair on the bottom left and bottom right. I think we can probably ice out here. I mean, it's not not that great of a hand, but decent flop anyway. We flop the second not. Uh, I'm going to just see that half put here on the paired flop. Then call flash does come in, come in. And we basically hope that he has the flash. So if I bet half, but at like 270, we can quite easily, quite easily shout the river if he calls, but he folds. And bottom left, we don't really have that much. He folds nice. If he raises, it's not the issue really, we just fold. Just fold then. Well, bottom left is the bottom open, I think we want to. Three bets pretty much always, and bottom top right, single player, heads up pot, so let's see bet. And he calls, so I don't know. Maybe we could get some better pocket pairs to fold by double barreling, but well, too high shoot and pretty decently connected, so three bit time. If we have a chance for it. Someone three bits, I don't know. But we just fold ten. I mean it's a not decent hand, but cold calling three bits. Three bits is always something that it's going to be tough to make make money by that line. 
Well, um, number three, but I mean, cool, the cool thing about this hand is that if we get into multi pots that we have two high high flush draws, so we are the one who has the chance to dominate most. But unfortunately, we have we get pretty much nothing. Now, if we could just put here, I mean, it shouldn't really connect. I suppose that's not that easily. Uh, this was checked, so let's bet we don't much. And well, how did I sit out here if I nice bet anyway? Oh, uh, well, you get actually open ender here, but we just and two back to flush rush. I don't know if we can really get like ACs to hold here, probably not. But I suppose we could try anyway. Oh, that flush. That was kind of a one of those guys who seems to be three betting any double suited hand. Well, the thing is that we still had. I mean, yeah, he has mind four, so. He actually didn't have that many two pair out. He has the old straight out, and then. I suppose we could count like maybe 10. Against that specific hand, like 10. 12, 30 out, something like that. 13, not 30. Um, we bluff here. Well, I don't know. We maybe have some sort of value anyway. I'll see, but so. Well, King, King, Queen, Queen. This guy three, but I suppose we are. It's not going to be four, but then... And maybe we could go for... All the sheep at the bottom right, so the problem is that 10 is quite common card, I suppose. Well, that seems to be the case. Wow. Uh, it just got it. It's out of line here, I suppose. I mean, didn't even have the math flush draw. Full house. Well, I think we can call one one bit, at least if it's like half foot. This is no action tone. Well, um, as I said, I was planning to call one bit, and he made me win a bit, so I suppose it was fine enough. Three pairs and got so we, well, we don't block this straight a little bit. Well, I don't know. Would it make any sense to? Lead here.
Well, now we have less of a two pair, basically. We have ace. Well, might be good. Well, now we have trips. I wonder if it makes sense to bet, or should we? Want to check call. And we have the set on the top left. I think we could maybe go for check grace. But he doesn't bet. And we get pretty crappy one. But he checks. So I think I'm going to bet like a lot of small plucker, but I think we get some value. And mid set bottom right, really dry flop toe, so I think we could just just make the call here. Of course there can be some five six seven that completes some some straight draws. But when he checks it just cuts at completing, so I think we can go for it here. I suppose fairly plank river, so I will try to make make the bet here top right with the low end straight, no help for it. So And I think bottom right, such a low pair, so I mean if it had been like ace, eight, eight, nine or something, well flop would have actually been de pretty decent with the gut shot and that flush draw. Well, seems like they both have something of sets versus two pair. We would have one, or actually speed spots, I suppose. Well, this guy got, got extremely lucky on that hand. I mean. Yeah, he didn't even have a gutsuit on the top, so he just run a runner straight. Uh, well, he limps and checks, so let's tap. We have Mike to be high flush draw. Now we hit flush and check behind if he checks. Not getting three straight anyway with that hand. And. Try to bet here, so might be that this is going to be a bad bet.
Part three gets to pair to call. And upright, I would think that this is enough to tree, but put on open and all blind call. And we flopped the trips. I'm going to sleep at small. Oh, this is also a board where I mean, I think we should pretty much never get raised in a way that we could have the aces also <coughs> much more easily than the opponent. So. Open ender and four on the bottom end against somewhat of a shorty. I don't really want to see, but I suppose I don't really have that much to lose. Ah, it was actually three way. I somehow missed completely that fact. Well, let's just call. We hit the nuts now. Also rainbow flop, so we don't have a huge amount of... I should have just check folded on the top left, but I co somehow missed completely that it was three-way. Well, I'm just going to check right on bottom left. And AC is bottom right, we get at least a lot of callers. Does someone three bet so we could four bet? Probably not. And we have just not time, flush draw, and AC, so I think we could check here. Try if we get the free. Three turn, I mean, low fold equity against three opponents on this board is probably fairly non existent now. You can basically count 10 to 11 out, so I'm kind of unsure if we should just, just get it in here. I fold it unfortunately. <laughs> then it's probably not a good play. These guys come along and we get three way. I think it's it's going to be fine, but oh well. Oh well. Maybe bad play to continue out here. He still had. Well, he was plucking two of our flush draws, so, but. Eight out. That's quite enough. Well, let's ask other people's opinion. I mean, if, uh, if we had any sort of cuts or something like that as supports, you know, I think we, we just have to get it in or play it. But not sure it's here. Well, second race is. I guess. Mean three, but. I just really wonder about those mean four, mean three, but guys in these. Especially Omaha. Omaha games, that's what's the point. Well, those we are just going to. Brought it here. And he fold.
Ja is the is this answer kind of like I bet the second guy would raise and the third guy is three, but then we might be might be in a way better situation to it. In a way that the chance is that it would be three ways, so it would probably increase anyway. But yeah, I mean, we still had, had those, was it eight? Oh, uh, well, we can basically count that it was blocking our outs, but we still had like ten outs here. Before, before knowing his exact hand, so it's not like we are that huge of an underdog necessarily. Well, I mean, sometimes it might be perhaps also some sort of. Some sort of semi bluff, like for example, some 10 jack queen with the plus draw type of, type of hand, for example. Well, that our aces might sometimes actually have so done value in itself. That's kind of a nasty spot. I mean, like if I had only a high plus draw and not aces, that I would count 10 as. Two extra outs, then I would probably have folded, but but yeah, I have to ask about that hand from better players. And I suppose we could ask about that early session hand where I want to. But I'm not sure if it's in any more visible here in the... No, it's not, not, not visible in the replayer anymore. Where I had that ace... Ace 2 or 5 or whatever double suited it was. Something like that anyway. I mean, maybe we could sometimes three, but the top left having the ace blocker. Well, just checking it here. Double pair, bottom left. And I've also the queens, we flop the mid set. Hit sex, I think we are going to be most likely good, and we get total blank on the reverse. So let's bet. Well, we have suited ace upper right, but just the two three, so and just folding. Now we would have had not blockers, but I think grabbing the deuce four in general is not necess not necessarily such a great idea, because it's it's going to be somewhat rare hand combination anyway. Uh, 
and bottom left we get open ender and actually open ended straight plus draw. Like your plus draw. So we don't basically have that much not potential. Outside of the straight plus draw, of course. But, but I mean, if we hit 7 high flush, it's not going to be like yippee, get the chips in a situation like we get here. I'm calling ones with having the two out still against everything. That's probably if he bets the third street, I'm just folding. Check. Probably bets. Well, no strike flush. I mean, obviously, I'm not not calling to here to hit the straight flush. I would call it as bluff catching. That sometimes this might I might be barreling to here and just give up the river. And we call again. And we don't hit the set, we have some blocker value with the 10, so... And I mean, if the straight does complete, might might go for the triple barrel attempt with the straight, straight blockers. <coughs> Is Queen King for too many diamonds, but only hit top two pair. Sets should be pretty rare as we block the kings and no fours and threes. Pretty rare anyway. He raises here, we are just getting it in and hoping for the best. Well, that's total blank. We most likely have the best hand. Still, if we had the best hand on the flop. And now we have Two pair, king, queen, and again, set should be pretty unlikely, so I think we can, we can probably go for the pot, or should we go smaller, I don't know. Let's go a bit smaller. Make it a bit easier for him to call, so if he raises, he has to kind of, of course we have to call, but it's probably never bluffing against that sizing at least, but I mean if he has weaker two pair, I would imagine call being a decent possibility. And now we have flush draw as well, and now we have the nuts or cigar nuts if you want to be specific. I think value will probably be tough because we have three clubs which are blocking the, all the high high flushes. I mean, big. I think any flush is probably going to call anyway. But Uh, 
Well, we have open ender 6 and 3 over cards to 6 4, so. Hold on. And they don't see it. Oh well, it smells like a flask quite a bit. I don't know if we can go for. Well, it's fault when we don't have any flask blocker. I turn. I'm not sure if we should three, but these type of these type of hands necessarily. Well, it's just bot central. Well, I wouldn't imagine him to have too many egged eggs. He should be folding over pairs pretty much, so I think. <laughs> because, I mean, if we had like 10, like some two pair, I think he might be often, often just raising the, just raising the flop, so we had eight x single pair, it should have 10, like 8, 9, 10, or 8, 6, 7, or something like that, probably. And here as the course those we might also have some over pairs which which are going to be ahead of my hand. <laughs> so I think from that spear perspective betting is probably probably fine. Hmm. And we are blocking the straight. Wondering if I don't know if dog bedding would make some sense. I did watch some some videos about those reasonings for leading and check calling, check raising, etc. But and forwards probably. Quite a bit of those. Uh, well, let's call the king in 97. We have some support from the 97. Not that much time. Well, if they gave like check, check, I think we could probably bet on ourselves. I'm going to call that small bet. And we get bottom two pairs of left, not really much. Now we have the last draw. Let's see if we get three. Three retriever. Oh, 
Right sizing. Well, those might those might be great if someone had like nine three or eight three or nine eight. Type of hand we are now beating toes. This guy didn't have the AC, so we are actually good. Nice. <coughs> what what the heck these guys had? Seven seven eight ace. I mean, this guy has queens, and this one has bigger fast draw. Out of left, we get top pair, rat shots, and queen high flush draw. With the back door flush draw. And 5 4 is possibility now. But I think we probably want to bet anyway. We are blocking the 5 4 somewhat. Somewhat as well. And if there is, I mean, even, even against the 5 4, we. Most of the time, have decent equity. Having the having the queen high flush draw and top two pair, which gives like possibly the four at the outside. Oh, oh. and we have the cut so to six high straight. Limbidi limbidi. Isolation race failed, but we flopped the top set. Let's use the tomb for once. And then we hope that we don't get any really ugly turn cards. Well, that's not ugly at all. Most likely. This guy leading small, should we just call and we don't really need protection that much. No one should have the ACs at least. So realistically, we are losing to pocket sixes, which is the quad. But yeah. Whips not. Did he really raise? Wow. Uh, so was that valley or bluff? I wonder. In the real lens mind, I mean, it, it's definitely bluff, but in reality, but. Wow. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have full house. Yeah. So he had just 9 6 here. In a board, it has plus draw possibility and so on. But my guess would be that Will Lane was basically value raising in his mind. If, if I would have the best, that would be my that would be my assumption. Might be a stupid attempt to see that on the top left. Mm, he doesn't raise so so. And we do pick some wrap and Actor Flustro completing. Could we get him to fold some? If he doesn't have to flush some two pair, for example. <coughs> well, we have the not flush blocker. Do we want to? Those we could try to. We are also blocking both both of the straights. Oh, let's bet one cent. And we should have raised on the bottom right. If he calls, I think he often has to flush. Or he might have like some set, perhaps. <laughs> and we have plain. 4x, but it's just 2pp, but so... 
I mean, that's not a good reason to have just the two people, but... Yeah, that's I mean, every pot is important. Well, decent, decent support with the queens on the bottom left. By the king, queen, and queen, a shooter. We get one, one caller and paired flop, so... My standard. See, but... Or should we check now, or... I mean, we are still beating... Beating turn of hands with the queens. Let's go for another half pot center. Holds the race and then check the river unless it's four or queen. Oh, he has straight. He has the flush draw as well, but unfortunately, had hit. That hit the guts of straight. Well, kind of, kind of nice not to be in the bottom right, but there is the looming possibility that someone has the A high flush draw. So I wonder why I didn't get this guy raise, or I should have probably, probably played that. And but yeah, luckily we were weren't here. So let's check. Check 10, 10, 9 against one player. I mean, it's nasty if we face race, but I think we can probably continue having the guts of over pair and Astro. So I just fold here. Yeah, this should have been. I think that should have been. Would have been I don't know if the turn pets really made sense, but we have just checked. Yeah, I should have. Actually, takes that that spot. Take some water images from it.
Yeah, I think we'll probably check in the turn if we do see that flop would have been falling in a way that we had some sort of value anyway, and we definitely don't want to face that. Check Grace. Well, we have kings and mid pair and a flush draw. Mm, we are pretty deep, so tall. Just wondering if we could want to perhaps, perhaps check race, but we are so deep. Deep on that, that's. No points, probably. I'm just going to check. We have some, some sort of value. Okay, at ACs. ACs with the flat flush drop, we were quite, quite screwed here. Yeah, I've had quite a while this Omaha Major Challenge, make four of a kind. Two times we have got it once, but... But who knows when the next one will come. And sometimes I have had sessions where I have like... Here I have like three times squads in a single session. A lot of them calling and spade comes. I mean, we are either giving up here or we could sometimes try to go for a prey. Let's bet and rep the full house, but just check. So, I wonder why this guy was betting. Well, ace, queen, check, check. I think we could also three bet that one. That's obviously raising against the wimps. Then we get four way four way pot probably and flop them out. Well not the greatest card, but we do have the queen as well, so I suppose I'm just going to be I have SPR1, so he has the strength and he has it. Oh, he had second set, but didn't raise the block for some reason. Well, the bright, I think I'm just going to be holding the flop. Or I'm not sure if we should use perhaps smaller sizing, but. But we can always just wrap the aces. <laughs> Hope for the best. Well, I probably would have just given up if, if there was a call. Uh, let's three the chat one. Call bottom right with the gods of the second nut flush draw and kings. Blank river.
Um, let's see if the kings was enough or oh, ace as well. Even three, that's pretty good. So, <laughs> well, we didn't expect to see any C's at least. Or did he have? He had cut so sweet bases too. <laughs> oh, AC stop left. Just started to check that is there anyone with 100 big blind, but there was one player at least. And seems like we are getting all in. The three way tone. That seems to be. I think we actually won. Bottom left, I completed with the 7653 against the limpers, just calling the weak trips and folding now. I think I mean, it might sometimes be semi bluff, but it might be totally, totally dead basically. Top left, we get the wrap and two backdoor flush draws. And we are against the sorty so I think we could just just raise here and keep the turn. Didn't help so but he holds. Wood. Wood, wood. Yeah, I should have made it a little bit bigger to get that SPR one on the turn, but <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to make it so also that my, if I bought the flop, I think it might be that Willen is basically thinking that he he's going to be. Stacking off or not, but if I make it a little bit smaller, it might be that he still finds some folks on the turn, which is, I think, really good for, for my hand here. I'm calling bottom right. I think that's fine option, and stop right is such a small delay, but we probably don't want to get too crazy with the Run down hand. And well, just check. No two pair. <laughs> uh, we have got to three river and four. Almost. Almost. We have to flash placard. Huh? If we want to really look for a positive side of this, this hand, easy pot race here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, top two pair, backdoor plus draw. Uh, 
And now we have the flush draw and you got to use three completed, but it's pretty cruel if this guy actually has, has that. At yesterday's situation where I don't remember it exactly, but I had some sort of AC, so I checked calls the flop. It was three way. We didn't have support for it, but it was pretty small bet. And turn went checked when I hit the ace, and River completed some random. I mean, the flop was like King, King Egg Three or something like that. And turn was ace, the river was, I think, five or something. It was completely easy. Some sort of four, three, something like that. Got shot, I bet small this on the river to get some value with land race, and it was basically all in. So I called or shouted here, and <laughs> we lane had like king, jack, five, twos, or something like that, hitting the nuts on the river with the back door. Back door. Straight draw. That was pretty nasty one. And we get the trips here. I think we would get. Oh yeah, this is actually the swordy guy. Well, that's what. Nice the bike as well. So he still, still balked to 100 pb, but seems like not willing to use the rebuy. Out. I mean, it's pretty. King 8 juice, not exactly connected flop. Even if there was was flush draw possibility, and yeah, like basically probably see winning too much, but yeah, in the heads up, but but I think that's that's fine, fine exploitation of the general general player pool. Well, pretty nice double pair on the top right. Not really getting anything, but I think we could go for this see, but against one player. I mean, if we do hit the queen or ten, we have the best hand. Practically always. Oh, that's kind of interesting head card. I think we should be checking probably. Probably. I mean, ace is definitely never folding. I suppose we could bet maybe small in a way to get, try to get value out of out of some drawing hand like half pot or something. But I'm going to bet here. Then face a check race and hold away. Hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> And we have to call bottom left. No ace in our hand, which is in general good, but not now so when the ace comes. And the flop. And we get the easy, easy fold. So I believe he folded. Yeah, so if I need to bet the turn, my idea would be to basically 
check. We'll probably check if we don't hit the Queen or Zen, basically. I mean, even if we complete the river, especially when we bet, or if we bet the turn and he calls, we have to be somewhat afraid of the full houses bit more also. Well, I don't know here, I mean, it's really dry flop. I think the we are going to be ahead, it's probably mainly against like pocket fives or fours or something like that, but probably only oh, get went into sit sit out. Oh yeah, probably here. Was a bit and would have hit the straight. But was that good thing? Would have been lucky to be on that. <laughs> that situation and yeah, quads would have been good. Double suited tens. Tens have been hitting sets like every time I have played them, roughly. Well, maybe, maybe not every time, but feels like quite a few times. So, this flop in a five way pot is not really a good, good situation to be in, I suppose. Well, kind of a nice hand that we are also blocking like straight out with the rotate check every one of them, so. Somewhat surprised if they actually have have the strike at least, and let's put Earl on the turn with the not try to use sizing, which might get this guy to continue with. Now well, ten is a bit of a scary card, but we have to have a bet anyway. Race. I mean, we are just behind the eggs, but well, oh well. I don't know. If folding is way too nitty, but we do triple barrel here, so I think I think it takes quite a bit of balls to be. Turning some sort of 10x into bluff or something like that. Somewhat dub, well, who knows for sure, but I don't think we'll end would be likely raising weaker hand for value. But yeah, maybe that should basically be. Kind of a toe spot that if you are behind, then you are behind. Just call it.
But I mean, just the, th the thing is that especially this guy like also being it's one of these limby limby guys brave up and so on. So when they when they actually go for like. Uh, check raised here in the spots where we have been triple barreling. I think it's just quite the extreme strength. I think bottom or right, we could just bot with the top two and. And got what was it? Do we go, go through top right? Everyone folks might be a bit optimistic spot to be bluffing against three people. So, well, I'm just going to be raising against these sorties. We have the cut suit and cut flush draw. Maybe Ace King 10 itself has some value if we have been happen to hit. And take hold so nice. Oh, I bet trying to take the images of the line I took in that. I mean, I suppose it's not completely impossible that the villain has some pocket tens as well. If it's like pocket tens. It's mine or something. Because he would have had the open ender also. And now needs to open steam. Please click. But yeah, like if he has 10, 10, 9x, or, or maybe some sort of. Or did I treat it here? Yeah. I forgot, forgot the full thing. Uh, and we have top pair of plus draw got so and this PR two so but so yeah, or maybe like ten ten with the flash draw could also be a possibility. Well, I think it's not just the ten eggs that we. Would be behind. I mean, I think we have to bet the river anyway. Just checking, checking to prevent getting check raised with the, that strong of a full house. I think it's too too weak line. I mean, if the villain has trips or something like pocket sevens, maybe. Well, he might be. Raising that, of course, but he sees we don't really have three bidding guys behind, so I don't think flatting makes that much sense. Kind of awkward fault. Have SPR three and half to and UTG open. Just wondering how often does he have? How often does he have two parents as spot? It's fine to bots, but if it was like. It's more connected, I might just check and go from here. What if it was like something like 10, 8, 6? Well, that would offer, offer a straight as well, but mean a bit, mean a bit, well, let's just call all these guy races now. And it's four way but so. Post here. Uh, 
Well, let's call bottom left if we happen to get some miracle flop. <coughs> Considering it was 10 cents, but of course this is not such a great hand. Well, we do get the wrap. Let's see if we get free, free river. As it's not that good of a, of course, when there is already bigger straight possibility and two flush draws. So we don't really have that many clean straight giving cards anyway. I don't know, maybe we could open the ace queen seven having this with the ace, but would have had too much. Limpity limpity. Well, two pairs, Let's just lead here. And eight nine eight five five three completed. Don't have the eight nine blocker at all, which is the most likely most likely one, I suppose. Right, we only have the ace queen backdoor flush draw. Now just folding, just folding to you. <coughs> 10 min bet on the top left, so I'm going to call that and hit the check. That was the plan at least. Almost. It's quite a miracle if we are, have the best hand, but well, it's upright. I think we could. We are pretty deep, so just call. I mean, we probably have the best hand here, but there are quite a lot of bad turn cards. Well, let's go once more, having the three pairs, some full house out, and then white sometimes be bluffing, or oh, here's the queen, so luckily we didn't race. Don't have the ace blockers here, I don't know. So tweep your hex three bits, but well we have top set scut sort and plus draw. I'm just going to check top left also. The flop goes check and we get get the straight, it has a bit more value at least. 15 cents. Um, but he's really short, so it might be that he actually has, has, has the fuss. Well now we have the not full house. Getting valued so on the paired flop might be hard. But I would try. I 
mean, we could check sometimes, I suppose. But... Well, we are full losing the quad. Now he bought Johnson. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. It could really scream. Oh, I mean, some random bogus pair could be calling, I suppose. It's probably more likely we are blocking kings and queens, so that's, I suppose, we kind of have to show. Hope that he calls some, some bogus pair and not just the quads. And Queen's call. Well, lucky we had one, even so we blocked, blocked that those combos. Yeah, I was really kind of scared that he don't chance the river. I mean, I would still call, but I think it would, would re really kind of scream. Watch really strongly. Well, three way, let's just check. We have the not flush draw, not consult. Royal straight, or what's the term for it? Draw. No help at all. Not three win. <coughs> Well, Ace was okay, but King 10 is the wrong side of the spectrum. Just going to check, and well, I don't know, maybe we could bet as well, but I'm not done things that many better hands are going to are going to fold anyway. Top left, we get like all table to call almost. I don't know. Is there any sense in bidding? We have the Ace King tell, but well, it's at least it looks really strong if I see a bit here against four people. Or maybe we get some Ace Queen, Ace Jack type of hands to actually hold, which is, I mean, not that horrible thing, I think. Okay, he probably has the two pair at least. <laughs> I mean, not a horrible thing in a way that, uh, because when we have the pocket pair with our ace, chances that our hand is going to improve is pretty slim. So, in a way, if, the, if we get someone to fold like some ace jack 10 5, it would be kind of a, kind of a good outcome. And of course, if we check the ter flop tier, that flop cost check, it's, it's quite, a, quite a miracle if turn doesn't give, doesn't give some sort of, some sort of decent draw or something, better two pair, something like that for the opponent. Uh, I'm just going to check here. We have the open ender. And to check, uh, we have two pair. Just going to check fold, I suppose. Two pair is enough. Luckily, he didn't use his not pluggers, pocket kings here. I mean, it, I think it's a pretty decent spot to go for. That's here. Put huge portion of my range into tough spots. I mean, 
if they bet big zero, I would probably fold. Fold pretty much anything weaker than the straight, unless I have like some sort of two pair and block the straight heavily or something. Something like that. That's type of hand I might might call with. I'll try to hit the top set. I don't know, maybe we should call. Have some supports with the queens. <laughs> hmm. I think we could check back here having the big flush draw and cut sort and mid pair. We don't have that much, that much, much potential, but when he checks and we do have the two pair, I think we can <coughs> probably value bet, but that's nice theory where luckily he didn't have the hearts. So I'm going to bet here. Not right. Or should we just check or I don't know but we get better hands to fold <laughs> I mean we could obviously direct the ACs and so on but we have some sort of value anyway Of course, we could be also slow playing aces here, so I think we have a decent chance to be able to check it down to slow down. Oh well, he has the ace queen nastily. Nastily, that's a tiny bit better hand. <coughs> so I think TDO at least would be tripling this sort of hand some portion of time. That's just a wild guess. And we flop somewhat. Nasty sort of flop, I suppose. I'm just going to check and call, probably. Should we bet now? No raise at least, so. I suppose we could take image of that as well, because I'm not really that certain of any street I've made here. That's also, that's always mark of solid poker situation when you are unsure of every decision you make in the end. Well, we flop the top two. Mm -hmm. 
one weird sizing bottom left from the big blind. Which we don't really. Well, we flopped the wrap, but. Well. Return. Almost raked. If we want to bet, I think we could. Because if we get called by some two pair or something, we might still have the value with the straight. Okay. Well, we can throw that, that out of the window. And, well, was I? Lord, but yeah, I'm just going to lead here. Putting out and four or five cuts would improve, but if this guy has it, then he needs it. Snap off with his flash draw. Let's not check the bottom right. And of course we get three, but I suppose we can maybe call some spots out and get kind of awkward. But it makes sense to be don't put in here. Having to not blockers and we still have the open ender anyway. So we are not totally, totally dead if we get action. <coughs> It's a call in the bottom right. Get cut shot. Well, I suppose we are just trying to check the show down. Well, I think we can go for what he bets himself. We have the flush. Not flat, not flush blocker at all. Well, because they will then have it. Oh, and understand like it still needs to be sit out in every every table if you sit out from the one table. Seems kind of kind of unnecessary, but trying to bluff against the nut flush. That's. That's usually ideal option. Mm, no one seems to have the ace. We could value with some kings or queens here pretty easily, I think.
Sen Ace, King, Queen or Jack would be nice. I would pay this decent as well, I suppose. Or five completed, but that's somewhat unlikely. Well, no help. Maybe I should have just bumped the turn. Then it's pretty nasty, a client completing it. Oh, oh. Little bit everything on the bottom left. No check. Well, I'm just folding if you. It's the river. Okay, I'm just calling. Not calling a week one per hand. Four was like nine or ten, or if it was double suited, I would call, but just folding that one. Suppose I could aim the position soon and have a little break. Or the SMG session. <coughs> but yeah, once again, some interesting. Interesting situation, at least for me. I think I've arrived if this guy three, but we can just get it in against the Shorley. We have Ace King, so I wonder if we could call that bottom left spot. Pretty small bit as well. No draw completed. Well, he didn't have a draw. What? That's that's barely enough. Barely enough. Yeah, I think I think the queen overall was kind of a nice hand in a way that if William had a six, a five, it's also got counterfeited a queen and queens being less likely also, and it didn't complete the single draw so. I don't know, at least for my, my eyes, that call seems reasonable. Well, we get the straight and... Uh, well, of 
much bit. Bit dangerous, sort of. I'm not unsure about these hands. Because the five is so it's not connecting at all, so maybe it's fine to just fold. It was like seven or something bigger than I would at least open. Well, top, top table, 500 pp stack. Not too bad, I suppose. I think we made decent profit from this one. Considering, considering the limits I play. Yeah, I actually moved it. The web came back to its usual position. I mean, currently we are up to like two, six, sixty-three, seventy, seventy-three euros roughly. But at least few hands to post. Post once again on the. <coughs> ah, sorry. On the forums. I still have one, one hand probably playing. No one is sitting out. Do we get anything to spew? It seems like we do. Also, that queens not too bad. No set, but we have the <coughs> not flush draw and queen most likely being out as well. No ace blocker, so but I think we could still. Of course, there is a danger that he has like some ace check now and. He's going to he's going to praise against me, but let's take that risk. And we get him to fold. So okay, that was that was the end of the end of the session. We got let's see result wise exact exact number. 24 euros and 63 cents. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice, I would say. For one hour and 40 minutes session. I mean, you could maintain that win rate. Playing four tables of these, it would be pretty absurd. PP per 100, 100 wise. But yeah, I'm going to take a break now and then have some SNG which I might record as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and if you have any, any questions, comments, feedback about anything, feel free to post those. But bye for now.